Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. I'm here to show you some cool new features in PhotoRaw 2025.1. That's a free update for users of PhotoRaw 2025. We've done a lot to improve the new generative eraser tool and I've got several things I wanna show you. First off, I've opened a photo here into edit and I'm gonna to go to the retouching group and then I'm gonna select the generative eraser. If you don't see that, click on the arrow and select the generative eraser. You notice there are some changes here in the tool options bar. And the first one I want to show you is the new distractions option. Click on distractions and you can see how we can select either wires, people, or vehicles. So on a photo like this, where there's a lot of people in the foreground, I can simply click the people option. It will find all the people and mark them for me automatically. And then all I do is hit the generate button to remove them. And bam, just like that, they're gone. Let me show you on another photo. Here's the kind of typical shot you might take on your vacation, but right over here, we notice there's a couple of tourists in the shot that we want to remove. Well, we use that same technique. I'm just gonna grab the generative erase tool from the distractions, I'll select people. It'll mark them automatically, and then all I do is hit generate to remove them. There we go, just like that. It also works for transportation items like cars and trains or things like that. Let me show you how you can use this to remove extra cars in a scene. This is a really common shot in New York City, but the problem is unless you manage to time it perfectly, you're gonna have cars in your shot. Well, now it's really easy to remove them and get that deserted street effect. Grab the generative eraser, click on distractions and select vehicles. and then generate. And there you go. Now you've got a clean, wide open street, just like that. It's also great for complex wires and power lines like a photo like this. I can use the wires option to automatically find all of the wires in the photo. And then I can continue to brush to add or subtract from it. So I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and now I can get rid of this power pole all here at the same time. And then just press generate. And voila, there we go. We were able to remove all the power lines and the power pole very quickly using the new distractions option. It's another arrow in your quiver when it comes to removing distractions from your photos. There you go. Thanks for watching.